Hello people, do you know in obstetrics some particular terminologies, obstetrics, some particular terminologies you should know guys, like parturition, what are stages of labor, right, what is mechanism of labor, what is anatomy of labor. So if somebody asks you, you should be able to understand where exactly they are, they are talking from, right. So parturition, first of all, let's understand parturition, okay. See, from the time that a person um, conceives, right, see, from conception, right, till delivery and breastfeeding till the pure perium right so all that is coming under parturition right so in that there is daily uh, labor labor is just a part of parturition you got it right so let's go back here so parturition is from the time of conception you understood right till the a stage of uh, breastfeeding etc so that becomes parturition in that you have four phases phase one phase two phase three phase four three is where there is labor right so your stages of labor labor and everything comes under phase three of parturition okay so let's go back here and understand what is uh, phase one of uh, parturition so basically here they are calling it as prelude to parturition this is actually 95% uh, of the pregnancy here there will be cervical softening okay what will be there here guys? Cervical softening. So did you understand? Where are we? We are in the phase 1 of parturition. Okay. So phase 1 let us say we have finished. Now let us move. Wait. Let, before we move to phase 2. See phase 1 is quiescence. Phase 2 is activation. Phase 3 is stimulation. Phase 4 is involution. Okay. Kasi. Something like that you can remember. In stimulation stay, uh, there only you have stages of labor. All the labor and stages of labor will come in stimulation phase. So, SS, something like that you can remember. So, quiescence, activation, stimulation and involution. Remember this one is 95% of it, right? Quiescence. So, it is also prelude to parturition, okay? So, this is 95% of pregnancy. Then you have the activation. Now, we are moving on to activation. Activation is what, guys? Phase 2. It is preparation for labor. There you will have what? Cervical ripening. First you had softening of the cervix. Now there will be ripening of the cervix. What do you mean by softening, ripening? Sounds like a fruit or something. Okay guys, now let us uh, uh, come here. Look at, look at this point. Okay, This is the onset of labor. That is where this phase 3 starts, stimulation phase. Okay, This is the process of labor. Actual labor here, all the stages of labor will come here. So, stages of labor 1, 2, 3 and uh, you can add 4 here seeing that 1 hour of observation. So, all that will come here from onset of labor till the delivery of the fetus and placenta and 1 hour of observation you can say will be here. Okay, you can kind of say that it is here. Then, let us go to the last phase, phase of involution. Okay, so this is phase 4. You can say stage 4 of the labor also comes here, 1 hour of observation that you can add here if you want. So, phase 4 is what guys? Involution. The uterus is returning to its normal, <coughs> shall we say, shape and size. Okay. So, uterine involution, cervical repair and breastfeeding also happens here. Okay. So, did you understand guys? Look at the photos now if you have, uh, if you want to understand a little more. So, okay. So, first phase is what? Q, quiescence phase. Prelude to parturition, 95% of the pregnancy, cervical softening. Then, cervical ripening. What is this? Activation phase. This one is stimulation, this is involution. Yeah. So, activation phase, what is happening? Cervical ripening is happening. It is just preparation for labor. Now, onset of labor happens, stimulation. This is the process of labor. This is the process of labor. Okay, here you will have the three stages of labor, uh, you can say. Okay, what and all will happen here? Cervical dilatation, fetal expulsion, placental expulsion, all that happens here. Then one hour of observation. Then coming to this last phase of parturition, that is involution. Okay, cervical repair and breastfeeding. Okay, so this is parturition. Okay, did you understand? Let's go back here. So, parturition, phase 1, phase 2, phase 3, phase 4, you have in that phase 3, that is stimulation, you have this labor, stages of labor are 1, 2, 3, 4, we will look at those now, okay. Okay, so you have how many stages of labor, guys? 1, 2, 3 and 4, 4 if you uh, kind of, they are adding actually, uh, some people are just saying 3 stages of labor, anyways, 
One is what the dilatation of the cervix from onset of labor pain till the full dilatation of the cervix. Full dilatation of the cervix. Cervix has to fully dilate. Okay. That will be around 10 centimeters. Right? So full dilatation of the cervix from onset of labor to full dilatation of the cervix is the stage one of labor. Now let us go to the second stage of labor. Second stage of labor is where there is from, from where? From the full dilatation of the cervix till the expulsion of the fetus from the birth canal. This is the stage two. What is stage two? From, from the full dilatation of the cervix till the expulsion of the fetus from the birth canal. That is stage two. Now coming to stage three. From the full expulsion of the fetus to the full expulsion of the placenta. Expulsion of the placenta is stage three. Okay. Now coming to stage four. From the expulsion of the fetus and placenta, you are going to observe the woman for one hour to check for, you will monitor her vitals, then you will check for the uterus, uterine retraction, you will check for any vaginal bleeding, etc. To prevent postpartum hemorrhage, etc. You should be there. So that is a stage 4 of labor. Did you get it guys? Okay. Now, if where are we? Let's go back. So you have understood what part duration is. You have understood what stages of labor. Are. Very good. If it is not uh, complicated, just look at some more things. Under each um, stage, again, you have the word phase. Okay. Now let us look at stage one. See, stage one of labor, under, under that you have again two things. Latent phase and active phase. Okay. Latent phase and active phase you have. Not to confuse you, I am just telling you again the phase word is coming here. Okay. Under that active phase, again you have acceleration phase, max slope phase, de deceleration phase. Okay. Don't break your head. But the word phase comes again. Okay. Look at this. Now, second stage of labor. Under second stage of labor, you have two phases. Propulsive phase and the expulsive phase. What is coming out here? The fetus. Right. So, Again, you have two things here, propulsive phase and expulsive phase. Anyways, we will come to all that in the details. Each stage you'll have to read so much in detail. How is it going, people? So, you have understood what part duration is. You have understood the stages of labor in a high level. Then you have understood that this phase word is coming even in part duration. Even under each stage of labor, you have this word phase. Okay. Anyways, so basically, um, you have understood what stages of labor are. You will be able to say. You have understood what part duration is. You will have explained all the phases. Very good. What do you mean by mechanism of labor now? If somebody asks you mechanism of labor, that's becoming a little too much, is it? Anyways, look at this. Mechanism of labor is nothing but the fetal, fetal head movement within the pelvis, okay? The adaptation that it undergoes is the mechanism of labor. The series of movements that occur, okay, on the head of the fetus in the process of <clears throat> adaptation during its journey, during its journey through the pelvis, okay, maternal pelvis, it's called as the mechanism of labor. Here you have some specific terminologies that will come, guys. Let us look at those terminologies. Wait. Okay, so you look at the mechanism of labor, guys. Let us. So here are some specific terms you will have to say. Mechanism of labor. Engagement, flexion, internal rotation, crowning, delivery of the head by extension, restitution, external rotation, then Delivery of the shoulders and trunk by lateral flexion. So you will have to explain this. Mechanism of labor means you will have to explain. What and all will you explain? These steps. Okay. Ex uh, engagement, flexion, internal rotation, crowning, delivery of the head by extension, restitution, external rotation, delivery of the shoulder and trunk by lateral flexion. You will have to explain this. If they ask mechanism of labor. If they ask anatomy of labor, what will you write in the exam? Here, they are actually talking about the changes, guys, the um, pelvic structures. They are talking about the urethra, the bladder, okay, relations they are talking about. Anyways, I think this is not very important. What do you see, guys? If they ask you clinical course of labor, you will have to explain the same thing. Pain, dilatation of the cervix, right? Then coming to each stage, you'll have to explain, guys. Clinical course of first stage, second stage, third stage, then management of first stage, second stage, third stage. All that is a huge topic. So I hope you understood mainly focus on these, okay? Leave this part and leave this part, okay? Understand these three terms. Part duration is the overall picture. Under that, you got under uh, phase three of part duration, you got stages of labor. Then the same uh, stages of labor, you have to explain 
on the basis of uh, the fetal movement etc how the baby is delivered that becomes mechanism of labor okay so this much if you have understood you have understood a lot of terminologies for now in obstetrics okay bye bye guys just one more terminology you look at here okay so there is something called as first trimester second trimester third trimester or last trimester they have called it right see so here you can see here first trimester first 12 weeks then till 28 weeks second trimester and then they are saying last trimester okay so hope you have understood uh, where exactly they fall okay and here we have updated the stages of uh, labor also we have added here stage 1 stage 2 stage 3 stage 4 okay so here all the terminologies are there this entire thing is what parturition okay so this entire thing what you are seeing here is parturition under that only you have all the phases the trimesters the stage of labor all that will come here in parturition okay just note that guys this uh, second trimester has 16 weeks look here the second trimester has 16 weeks guys the first and the last have 12 weeks but the second trimester they are having 16 weeks if you calculate and see total it will become 40 okay so hope you know that the first two weeks right actually they are uh, are included from the last menstrual cycle she will not be actually carrying at that time isn't it somewhere from the last menstrual period from the last menstrual period from there only we calculate the weeks but otherwise if you see the first week actually 100% not at all pregnant